Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Studio 124 with me, your boy, Antoine McGee. And I have a very, very special guest. Very special guest today. Listen, I didn't think I was going to be able to get this guy. I've been watching him for a little bit <laughs> on TikTok, on Instagram. Like, huh, should I reach out? Should I reach out? I don't know. He probably going to just let that gentleman sit there. But I reached out and he said, yo, let's do it. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I got Tobias, a prince out here. Is that is that what you go by or what like? Up? Is that no, what you go Prince by? Prince TCH, man. Yeah, Prince that's, that's TCH. It, Prince TCH what up, what up? out here. What does TCH stand for? So those are the initials for my name. And also, okay. of course, by it being my Instagram, my Facebook, yeah, 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 my yeah. TikTok, you know, that's my handle. I'm like, bro, this is perfect marketing. You'll never forget it. Amen. Amen. I like it. Well, Amen. if y'all don't know who he is, y'all going to get to know who he is. He oh, is man. an amazing gift. Um, I, the oh, first video I saw, I'm, I'm, I gotta give you your flowers a little bit. The first video I saw, oh, I was like, man. this dude can sing. And then I looked real good. I said, wait, I saw him somewhere. And then I had to think about it and I scrolled down. I said, oh, oh, Lord. oh Lord. yeah. I said, okay, okay, okay. We're going to talk about that later. I'm not going to get into it right now, but I saw him. I saw him somewhere. I said, man, this is crazy. So. I wanted I wanted to uh, have this conversation with you. So in for my podcast, I, this is the second run at podcasting. The first one I didn't really feel too much. Is the second one this one right here? Right, a money right. So with this, I wanted to bring oh. in all the aspects of who I am. I love music. I love R and B. I, I love good it. singing. Amen. Praise God. I love I love oh, the God. Lord. <laughs> I love the Lord. I love creativity. I love all that. You know, I'm an audio engineer. I'm also a singer. So, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. We might, we might have to do a see, little something, something. See, you were holding out on me. I didn't know that part, man. <laughs> holding out. So you know, we God. we do a little bit. We do a little bit out here. You know, I do my oohs and ahs. Yeah. Me, 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 me. I do a little bit. I do a little bit. I do a little bit. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we go to you know. I wanted to bring you on and bring this uh, just a whole new vibe and. One of the things that I love about today is the amount of music we get, but also the thing I don't like about today is the amount of music we get. If you get that's, my meaning. That's real, bro. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So we're going to we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. So if you guys are watching for the first time, go ahead and subscribe right now. If you're listening for the first time, add me on to your favorite podcast uh formats. It's it's gonna be down there. It's gonna be down there. Uh, and then <laughs> and then make sure you following. Make sure you following my man right here. Get on Instagram, blow him oh, up. Man. Go on TikTok, follow him. Do all that stuff because I believe he's next. I believe he's next. Oh, Actually, man. matter of fact, let me let me fix that. He's now walking into on, the next. Yeah, let's do Come that. On. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. I want to see <laughs> that, that too, man. Like seriously. Hey, hey, hey. That for real, for real, man. You got it, bro. And I'm not just gassing you up because you're here, but it, you got it. You got it, and I, and I love it. So, uh, how you feeling? You all right? You good? Hey, I hey, look. I want to make sure you know. what I'm saying, can y'all see me? I want to make sure I don't look crazy over here on this side. So I'm <laughs> straight. Yeah, we straight. You straight. You good? Man. So you're look, good. I'm feeling good, man. I, I feel good being on this podcast, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I take every opportunity, bro, as an opportunity to, yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Just to encourage somebody, man. Like, it, it ain't about me. Like, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, my gift isn't just for me. It's yeah. for someone else. It's to encourage someone else. It's to uplift, uplift someone else. So, Absolutely. Know, so that's, that's and what, and that's, what we're here and for, that's one of the things you're going to get from Prince is an uplifting. Amen. Come on now. Listen, the bo Come the on boys, now. The boys sang Woman's Worth, and I said, wait a minute now. <laughs> hey, look, had him in worship, dog. Come on now. I said, hey, 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 dog. Hey, dog. You ain't got to do us like that, man. Hey, you ain't got to do us like that, man. But it was good, though. It was real good. You, man. I, I appreciate I, I that. Had, I, had to, I had to do a little falsetto for the people. Listen, and but the thing about that song is not everybody can hit that, so. Uh, kudos Bro, and, and I, you I got and you got some man. you got some good good courage to get through that joint because listen you can fall flat on the uh -huh. done done the first few notes are crucial <laughs> you 
<laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, man. So let's let's get a little bit into your background a little bit. So what got you hey. into, you know, singing? Bro, when I tell you, so I come from a small town, man. Como, North Carolina is small as ever. Only like 80, 89. Come on, North Kakalaka. Yeah, man. I'm from the Carolinas, man. So 89, maybe 90 people in the area. So we have no stoplights, no gas station, no mall, Burp. no Walmart, no grocery <laughs> store. Y'all country, country. Bro, we the sticks in the woods, bro. We got good people here, but hardly no jobs. We have a volunteer fire station. And we have a post office. That's all we had. That's all we had. Well, all, so the, well, all the right. The only thing that me and my family could do was sing. Like, I come from a musically inclined family. All my people either sing or play an instrument, or they're going to try to join the lawn by beating on a pot or pan or something. So that's, that's <laughs> it. So I come from a musically inclined family. My mother sings amazingly. My, my grandfather, God rest his soul, you know what I'm saying? That's the person who brought me into this thing for real. Yeah, uh, my dad, he, he was a performer back in the day. My grandmother sings, my aunts, my uncles. Like, it's it's a family thing, man. So it, it was just destined for me to do something in music. So that's how I got started, man. Of course, in the church, too. You know, man, that, that. Well, I, I feel like all good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, I, I just feel like it's in the Got to give it to the Lord. Come on now. Yeah, man. Come on. I think I think that's where that's where we all learn our chops. You know what I mean? We learn how to that's how to fact. succeed. We learn how to fail. <laughs> we hear that. That's Bro. all right. Take your time. Take your time. Look, if you hear that, and that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Been, no. Nine so. times out of ten, that's not good. That's. Yeah, y'all. For for me, man, you know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Growing up in church, I, so I started singing quartet. I, I was a quartet here, bro. So you can't in spirituals. You leave with yeah, you know about it. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I yeah. yeah. That world. I come from the quartet. Then you know what I'm saying about you know, <laughs> uh, man. Then contemporary and contemporary gospel, bro. And then once I got to like college, that's when I started branching out into other genres, man. I don't just do R and B. I do country, jazz. I, I, I'm sure I'm classically trained, so I, that's that's a part of me that he I does. haven't seen yet. He does the classical indeed. side. I might show that a little bit more. We'll see. We'll see this year. Ooh. That'd be, you know, you, you like, like Nat King Cole and all them and. Come on, man. Come on. Don't, don't do it. Come on now. I know about it. I Come on. Unforgettable. <laughs> in every way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and forever. forever. Come on now. I know. It. It's how I you day. That's why, Look. darling, it's incredible. Yeah, man. See, this shouldn't be about me. This should be about this <laughs> man on the other side. <laughs> so, Doc, you hiding your gifts. Oh, I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding, bro. Not. I'm not hiding. We, 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 we going to talk about it. We going to talk Say about it. <laughs> we going to talk less. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because uh, I got an announcement to make at the end of this, so we going to talk about it. Amen. Praise Exclusives, exclusives, exclusives. Hey, look. Hey, that's listen. Right, yeah, man. you know, that's a reason why we got set up. It's a reason. It's a reason. Go on, man. Come on. <laughs> so let's talk about let's talk about idol, man. Oh man, let's talk about Let's that, talk man. about idol. So I once I saw you on, on Instagram and TikTok, I was like, I know this dude from somewhere. I'm like, I don't can't put my finger on it. And then I scrolled down a little bit and I was like, yo, that's the bull yeah. from I said okay. That's my man right there. I said, because, you know, let, let's, let, you know, shout out to Idol. We love Idol. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But, of you course. know, sometimes us people don't be making it. And uh... <laughs> hey, look, it's... so I had to, so I had to be like, look, hey, I got to, I got to support the black people when they come up on the screen. Got to make sure they get their golden tickets. You know what I mean? They make it through. Well, that's it. You got to make sure you get the ticket. You know what I mean? They got to make it through. I mean, but then I'd be like, look, black people, don't make us look bad now. Come on now. Don't do this. Don't go up hey, there and man, sound a, sound a hot mess. But <laughs> I think I think the beautiful thing about Idol Man is that it's forever evolving. It's like you you're if yeah. you compare Idol to when it first started to early, like in the early two thousands to now, bro, like it's it's a totally different ball game, but it's good though. Like we we have yeah. 
we have discovered a lot of artists over the years, bro, because of American Idol. Like, that's why we got our Fantasia, our Ruben Stutter, Kelly Clarkson, Daltrey, and, Come on, and Daltrey? Jennifer Hudson. And the, yeah, bro, and the list goes with Clay Aiken, and the list goes on Adam Lambert. Like, the list goes on, on and on, bro. Yeah, man. So I'm, I'm grateful Joshua for that. Joshua Let It, man, like, DeAndre. Yeah, Joshua Let It. Oh, uh, like, like when I tell you, bro, American Idol. So like, I'm, I'm. Let me just go ahead and just get through the story real quick. So I hey, was go ahead, bro. Audition. I was yeah. not going to audition for Idol, bro. Like, I, I, you know, what I'm saying I tried to audition for like other TV shows. I didn't make it, and I was like, yo, I, I don't think I should, man. But after talking to some friends and talking to my folks, like, it was like you should go for it. So went for it, man. This is like in the height of COVID, so. Uh, auditioned online like on zoom and uh and bro like they they loved my audition like and then you know they took me through the process next thing you know i'm flying out to la to audition <laughs> in front of the judges so yeah so imagine me like this this is a dream that i've had you know what i'm saying being on a television show like that i've had this dream since i was like a kid bro so for me to get up there on this plane and to get to LA in front of all these cameras and in front of Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan, bro, like it was, it was a beautiful experience, man. Lionel so, Richie, talk about it. So we're gonna talk about him at the end of this story. So like, I, I gotta get to Lionel because that's that's my guy. Go ahead. So we, so we get there. You know what I'm saying? I, bro, it was like a whirlwind. They asking you to film here. Come up here and do this. Come outside. Let's do this. Bring your guitar with you. Do all this. Do that. And third. All right, we, so we need you to do this. We need you to do that. I said, bro, this is what I want. This, let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> let's if y'all go. Wanna keep filming? Yeah, if y'all want to keep filming, I'm filming with yeah, you. So man. let's do it. So get to the day of my audition, bro. I get up in there. So I had a, I had three songs prepared, bro. I had one on keys, one on guitar. Yeah, look, that, that's what they didn't know. And then, of course, my, you know what I'm saying, for those my boy who was. Watched, Oh yeah, my boy was ready. We was here. We was here. He was ready. So bro, I grew up in there. I was excited, bro. Like everybody likes to say, I was nervous. Nah, I, I was just very, very excited. Like when I tell you, I was ready to go ahead and 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 do the thing. I was ready to do the thing. So I did my audition, bro. They asked me to dance. I danced for them, and that took me to Hollywood week. You know, what I'm saying I made it through my genre round, made it through duet round. Shout out to my partner, Danielle. So I did, you know what I'm saying, did that. And, bro, you get the show stop around, had everybody up, jumping. You know what I'm saying? When, bro, when I tell you it was amazing, bro, amazing experience. But, of course, show stop around, I made it to the top 59. That's where I got, you know, kicked on show. But the good thing is, Ronda Richie came to me at the end, and he was like, yo, listen, like, you see people like your Tori Kelly's, your Lucky Days, your Jennifer Hudson, they didn't win. But look where they are now. Yeah, man. Bro, he literally, in my face, bro. Like, literally, like, right here. Because he saw I was hurt, bro. He saw I was hurt. But he he encouraged me so much, man. And ever since American Idol, bro, doors have just been opening, man. So, yeah, I'm I've been seeing them. I've been seeing the doors. Come on, man. Come on, mm. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He said, he mm. said they've been opening. Yeah, man. And they're going to keep opening. Amen. I mean, so oh, like, like we're gonna receive that. Like, yeah, you better, you better. This is this bro. is the time. This is the time. This bro, is the time because like now. you've been, <laughs> you've been putting in, you've been putting in work, you know. And a lot of people who have this dream think it's gonna happen by osmosis. And you know, for some people, for some people, it does happen. You know, you with technology now, you're able to do so wow. much. You know, it, years ago, you had to. Wow you had to work hard to get into the game and do things. Now you can start whatever you want bro. right here in your bedroom. Like you see the panels and it's a wrap. You see the panels. You know what I mean, <laughs> you it's, can, it's a wrap. You can do whatever you want. You can get pro tools. You can get logic. You can get studio one. You can get whatever and start recording yourself now. Right. Bro. But what I love it's, about it's your so story crazy, and what I, yeah, like what I love about your story and your and what I'm been witnessing on social media is that you are actually mm. trained 
you dedicated yourself to the craft, you know, your voice, you know, where to go in placements, you. arrangements, you play piano, you play guitar, you, you're not just somebody who's just going to stand there and sing to you, but no, I have, I'm, nah, I got the art behind me. I got the song on, behind me. Like, it, like you got to understand where I'm, where I'm going with this. Like, cause people right. like young, young guys that I meet all the time are like, yo, I, I want to be this. I want to be that. And so I'm like, all right, sing something now. And they won't do it. Nah, you gotta be ready. Sing something now. Cause you don't know who I am. Come on. Or who I know. I'm going to be like, all right, yeah, I like this dude. Send it off somewhere and you never know. You might get a phone call. But then also I'll be like, sing something now so then I can hear what I need to hear. and be like, all right, so you're good. Bro. But do this, 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 and this. And you be on, on point. Yeah. So, But with you, I'm like, this. You, you said it already. Your family was the foundation. You had church as your, your springboard. And then you just went from there and Come on, man. That's how Tank did it. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm coming. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for Come you. On, I'm coming for you. Because we're about to talk about this, man. First of all, let me tell you something oh. right now. Let me tell you something. Tank, I got to apologize to Tank, and I hope you watch this, Tank. got to apologize to Tank. When I was growing up in high school, I didn't like him. I did not like Tank. Oh, Lord. And the reason why oh, I didn't like Tank was because I felt like he was doing too much with his runs. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, Tank is a, he a monster, bro. But he's a monster. He, a monster. he was a monster, but it was certain monster. things, like certain songs in the, in the beginning part of his career that I just couldn't really get uh -huh. with because he was doing too much. I'm like, what are you saying, bro? Like, let them <laughs> let the song sing for itself. You know, certain songs, you don't need to do all that stuff. That's just me. That's just hey, me. No, nah, I... Hey, yeah, so look, I w I wish I could. You and me both. If I if I can go back and hit some of them ribs, bro, I'd be woo. I just listen. I'd be I'd be sitting day. on a check right now if I could. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just saying, a nice big check would be nice. A nice check, yeah. You know I mean, but <laughs> I gotta apologize to him because at first I was like, yeah, get on my nerves, but. And after the period of time and the progression and watching his mm. career evolve, Tank is that dude, bro. And he's the dude with the hey, pin bro. too. His pin sharp. He's cold. His, he is cold. His pin sharp. His pin is cold. Like dude is crazy when it comes to producing, man. I didn't know he like, did all he, that. You know what I mean? Our shout out to R and B Money Podcast. I've been educated. Yes, sir. I've been educated so well. On the R&B Money podcast with all the R&B artists, R &B money. and 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 with him sharing his story, it's been amazing. But how Bro. how'd y'all hook up? That's what I want to know. Uh, so 20, 2017, I met Tank at his Savage tour concert. Ooh, that was a good. That's a good uh, album. Bro, that's a good album. Crazy. I still so, listen to Savage it. tour twenty seventeen. Raleigh, North Carolina. I I got the meet and greet ticket, and bro, when I tell you, I said I was shaking in my boots, man, because I was nervous. I'm like, dog, I'm about to meet a guy that I studied. About to like, meet Tank. I was the guy, bro. Like, I was unofficially his student. Like, in my <laughs> mind, I'm like, bro, I'm, he's a teacher. I'm a student. I'm learning from him. So to actually meet my teacher, bro, come on now, like a mentor in my brain. I'm like, come on, G, y'all crazy. So I get up there to the to the loft, and then I get my chance to meet him. And I tell the uh, old dude taking a picture, I'm like, bro, can you record this? Don't take a picture, record it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to do something crazy. So <laughs> I go I go up the tank, I dab him up or whatever, and then I ask him, can I take 30 seconds of, you know what I'm saying, of, of something? He was like, bro, go ahead. Everybody watching. Everybody listening. So, oh, yeah, Sexy friend. Uh, so I was saying maybe I deserve, you know what I'm saying? I do my little thing. And he was like, oh, yeah, nah. And then he, literally from that point to now, he was like, bro, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep up with you. Like, don't worry. I'm going to find you. So, bro, ever since 2017, bro, to now. Like, I, and I'm skipping a whole whole lot of It's cool. You ain't, got, you, ain't gotta, tight, you ain't got to go all the way in. You good. Yeah, nah. Like, just. <laughs> Like, bro, ever since 2017, bro, he's been, like, 
in my corner. Like when I auditioned for American Idol, he was one of the people that I, I, I like, hey, look, bro, give me some pointers. Like, and then he hit me, like, hit me back. Let me know some stuff, bro. Tell me to be myself. Just give it all I had. Like, dog, he, he's literally been a big brother and a mentor to me, man. So I'm, I'm grateful. I'm just Listen. forever grateful for that mentorship. Man. Listen, man, because part of my podcast is dealing with mentorship. And talk about and it. I, and I tell people all the time, don't you can't put a price tag on a good mentor. You can't, man. And because Not at all. <laughs> because you can have a mentor who's alive and well, and you can have a mentor who's who's gone, right? Like because you're studying their life, you're studying what they do, you're, you're right. consuming all the wisdom and the knowledge that they left behind, so that you could take it and go forward. Right. Right. So with Tank being your, you know, one of your mentors and you got an opportunity to meet the man, sing for the man, yeah. talk to the man, oh, do on, things man. in between with the man. I ain't going to talk about it. Y'all go, go check out his Instagram and, and the social media and all that stuff. I, I, I'm it, not, I'm it. not telling that's y'all, it. y'all go find out for yourself, but hey, it, it's just an amazing full circle journey. And I, and I love that for you, man, because a lot of people don't get that opportunity Thank you. and bro, you blessed, man. You blessed, all, bro. bro. You blessed. Hey, bro, it's all God, man. I Like, literally, if you would tell 13-year-old Tobias that he'll be here at 27, bro, like, I, I he, he would probably laugh. Because it seemed, at 13, it seemed like it was impossible. Mm. You know, nothing's too hard for God. Nothing's impossible. Yes, sir. God. Like, he yes, sir. Do, he can do all things. Now, look, this ain't, I ain't trying to give y'all a sermon. Uh, this ain't Sunday. This ain't Sunday. So I ain't going to get to you just yet. But just Somebody know. Somebody get the collection played out. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Oh, Lord. I feel it coming now. <laughs> we so churchy. That's funny. <laughs> I ain't lying. It's all right. Look, oh, man. Kid. I, I love it. I love it. You. I love it. It's all right. Come on. Listen. Listen. It's all, that's all I am. Church baby. Church baby. You know I mean? So. I got a little game for you real quick. Let's make it let's make it a little fun. I got a little game. Got a little game. All right, a little game. Little little shim shim. All, right. All right. So I ain't gonna make you sing or nothing. I ain't gonna make you do that. I know you probably do it, right. but I ain't gonna make you do that. All right. So I'm gonna ask you some questions. You gotta tell me All right. which one. Which one like this or that? Like which one do you prefer? All right. It's gonna be all artist based. It's gonna oh, be all man. All right, so the first one, the first one, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder. Oh, Lord, you you going with the juggler first. Ah. Uh, I'm going with Stevie Wonder. Okay, I can see that. That actually it was no right or wrong I, answer for that one. That was that's that's it's just not, me. but that was that was tough, Ooh, I know. Oh, when, I, when I wrote it down, I was like, ooh, I couldn't even. <sighs> oh, that was oh. <laughs> I, mm, right up in here with it. Right up in here with it. I got you. I got you though. All right. All right. It, it, it hurt, man. Yeah. That yeah, yeah. Hurt. <laughs> all right. So Whitney or Mariah? Whitney. Okay. That, that was easier. You know, a little easier. A little bit. A yeah, little bit. I, Just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> all right. I got one. Oh, Fred oh. Hammond or Marvin Sapp? Fred. Fred Hammond. My man. My man. My man. Fred Hammond. All right. Ty Tributor, Kurt Franklin. You know what's crazy? Am I allowed to say both? Go ahead. Hey, go ahead. You want to go both? And hey, give me your reason. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I say both. When I was younger, I was huge on Ty Tribbett. Like, Ty Tribbett is like when I tell you I was literally trying to beat Ty Tribbett with the glasses and singing high like him, like like bro, like Ty Tribbett was yeah, he sing high as a gospel artist. High. Like bro, it was it was like a combination mm. of Dietrich Haddon, because that's my guy. Dietrich Haddon is my guy. That's that's if I had to do anything gospel, it, I would be trying to model Dietrich Haddon way. Cause he's that guy. And then Ty Tribbett. Like, those are the people that I yeah. listened to and studied the most. Yeah, 
But Kirk there Franklin you go. is so cold with his writing. <laughs> Kirk Franklin is so cold with his writing, bro. It's uh, yeah, man. I I gotta say both. Okay. All right. I got a, I got a story with both of them. I got a chance to actually uh see Kirk in person and meet him at on, the Maverick man. City the Maverick City concert uh Whoa. out in Pittsburgh. Come on, man. Come on, Pittsburgh. It was it was it was it was good. Yeah, that was uh that was wifey's present for uh for us. So we went out there and did the meet and greet everything. I, I mean Chandler Moore. It was great. It was great. It was great. Um we had a Bro. great time. And then with Ty He's a uh, a family. He's a friend of our church. Like he, his very first album, they recorded at my church. And oh wow, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Tough. <laughs> so so I got an opportunity to meet him in person a few times. I even engineered for him twice. So like, ties that dude, man. Ties that dude. Ties that dude, bro. I love Ty. That new album is crazy. And it's crazy, crazy, bro. Savior, it's crazy. The man you say it's come to worship you. you. Woo! Love it. Listen, listen. It takes you out every time, bro. Bro, every single time. Every okay. Time. All right. My last one is going to be a juggler one, too. But I got a feeling I know where you're going to go with this one. All right. So Michael All Jackson right. or Prince? So I... so. I'm a okay, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give two answers. Of course, I'm gonna say both. Of course, I'm gonna say both because when I was younger, MJ is who I would study. Like as far as dancing, performing, I studied MJ. Of course, a few other people, but I studied MJ. Now, as I got older and found out about Prince, and I started to understand how amazingly talented Prince was, I'm like, He's Prince, dude. why isn't Prince well known? Why why is, why doesn't everybody talk about Prince? And this was when I was a teenager, so I'm like, dog, nobody talks about Prince like this. Like y'all are not seeing what this man is doing on stage. He's playing keys, playing drums, playing guitar. He's singing, performing, sweating, sliding, gliding. Like this man is a performer. So I'm gonna say both, but if I had to give one, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go with Prince, bro. Like Prince is, I studied that man He's crazy cold. now. Prince is He's cold. 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 Prince is cold. cold. I love it. I love it. All right, bonus, 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 bonus. Your favorite, right. your favorite Usher album. Oh, ugh. I feel like if I say Confessions, that's just so cliche. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna try. Don't get me wrong. Confessions, Confessions is my favorite Usher album. I'm just throwing that out there. But I'm gonna try to give one that a lot of people don't really think of. Uh, so I'm gonna say 8701. Come on, bro, bro, 8701. Can you help? Come on, come on. Tell me. Ooh. Ooh. I look 8701. 8701. <sighs> That, that's a good pick. That, that's a good yeah. pick. That's yeah. a good pick. Because I mean, yeah, the default, of course, is it's confessions. confessions. Because that joint was fire. That was a banger. That was a banger. That was a banger. All right. It's hard. Last one. I promise. This is the last one. This is the last oh, one. I you promise. Good, bro. <laughs> All right. This is a group question. Because right. I love Motown. The Temptations or The Four Tops? Temptations. My man. My man. I stay through I'm, my window. Come on, man. I, and this is not me knocking Four Tops. I'm just, what Temptations did for the culture? Bruh. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna find a better male R&B group than the Temps. Like, they, they had it. Yes, the sir. closest thing to Temps, the closest thing to the Temps, in my opinion, you got to get the boys to men. Oh, yeah. Vocally? Oh, yeah. Bro. It's oh, ridiculous. yeah. 
Oh yeah, because they got chops. They got chops, bro. And all of them, all of them, Sean, all of them Lee, got chops. Wanye, Michael, when he was with them, man, all of them, on, bro. All of them got all chops. Them. And that blend was bro. crazy. It was stupid, bro. Stupid. Yeah. It made me giddy just thinking about that just now. Oh man. man, bro, because the nah, because like, I love music, man. It's just, Thanks. it's crazy. I, and then the fact that I'm talking to you is just making me even more giddy. So it's just cool. Oh man, <laughs> this is even hey. more cool because I'm a fan. Glad, I'm glad to be here, man. Because I'm I'm a fan, man. And I'm just letting you know I'm fanboying out behind the scenes. Y'all just don't see it, but I'm fanboying out. All right, just letting y'all know right Come now. On, man. All right. So so R and B R and B today R and B today. Um, some people think it's not in a good place. Some people think it's it's evolving to a different sound, mm. but mm. I believe just like Tank and them has talked about on the podcast is there you go. Come on. that that you gotta have it. R and B has a foundation, mm-hmm. period. And I think a lot of R and B artists out here now are not getting the good ones. Aren't getting the shine they're supposed to get um, versus those it. that are putting out what they're putting out. I'm not, I'm not knocking nobody, but you know, if you're going to sing, sing, bro, <laughs> it's, it's I'm, cool. If I'm you slide a... in a rap, but if you're going to sing, sing, bro. So what is your, your thoughts in the R and B game right now? You know, someone who has dabbled into the, the genre and the industry and been on the stage. Come on, man. Yeah. Hey, Hey, bro. Hey, Hey, we going to talk that talk. Cause you've done it. Mm, Go on, so... talk that talk, man. Yeah, so what what is your what are your thoughts? I ain't gonna hold you, man. I feel like I ain't gonna hold you. R and B first and foremost, R and B is not dead. R and B is not dead. There are some dope artists. There are some dope artists who are out here and they are doing it. And they are doing R and B like bro too. They're doing R and B justice. They're doing it at a, a a good level, bro. They just need that push. They just need that mainstream push, bro. And it's and like you know, what I'm saying like Tank and Jay Valentine and every guest that they've had on R and B Money podcast, bro. It's like you can't really say that it's the artists to a certain degree. Because there are some artists. Don't get me wrong. There are some artists out here that that's not you know that's not doing R and B justice, but. When you start talking about like the people that's over these award shows and yeah. people who are over the record labels, and once you start yeah, to get into all of that, you start to understand that R and B in that sense is dying because the money is more in other genres. Yes, sir. And so it's I say R and B is not dead as far as the artists that are putting out music and cause we are out here. There are some tough artists out here. I just feel like R and B is in their world is dying in mainstream because it's not mm-hmm. as popular as the other. As it used to be. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you yeah. know, and that comes yeah, with yeah, we yeah. in their mind, we don't have the Ushers no more. We don't have the Beyonce's no more. We don't have a girl group as as crazy as SWV and all these other people, Seven Campbells, we don't have those people no more. But that's in their mind. They're out here, bro. They like, oh yeah, artists are out here, and so it just takes, like Tank said, it takes a collaborative effort. It takes a village. It takes an army to keep mm-hmm. knocking down these doors and these barriers to say like R&B is here. Listen to yeah, us. man. Right, we still got something it- to say. Yeah, because and Tank said something crazy um, on oh. the the thing he did with Nori. I forgot what the the drink champs. Yes, yes. He said they are yes. they're afraid of our love. Come on now. And I was like, Come I was like, now. you know, he had to have the church face. What? What you say? He say it talking, again, Tank. He was talking, but it's just good. like, but it, he was talking real good. I was hey now. <laughs> <laughs> talk that talk, sir. Talk that talk. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So it's um it it's it's good to see guys like you mm. and others out here who are keeping it alive. I just pray 
you know, um, some of the powers that be, you yes. know, um, even some artists who started out R and B, yeah, kind of start going back to it, you know, because what what if Usher gave us a solid R and B album? Hey man, what what if he did? Hey, you know, I, what what if Chris Brown really gave us a solid hardcore R and B album? I mean, we we saw what he did with the uh, with the Christmas jewel, and I was like, yo. And the crazy thing is, is that because R and B is expanding and growing so much, it's like if you try to give us a truly solid R and B, so then you gotta okay, so then you gotta ask yourself, okay, cool, is if you give us a a, a full fledged R and B album, is that really considered R and B in today's age? Because then if if that is so. You know, Calvin Richardson is still putting out music. Johnny Gill is still putting out music. Come on, Johnny. My, like you got people my, that's still, my. yeah, you, right. <laughs> so it's like you still got people that's putting out music that can be considered real R and B. Yeah, man. But as some of my pro fights say, if you're not adapting, you're going to end up being retired. That's why people like Tank has stayed relevant. That's why people like Chris Brown has stayed relevant. They stayed with the times. They understand that it's still R and B music. It just you got to match what we're in now so it's you you just got to be a part of that that culture man Uh you you can't can't stay too far in traditional don't get me wrong i love some traditional r&b but r&b has to you got to keep up with the times man people want to hear some some sounds like chris brown they want to hear the 808s they want to hear the synths they want to hear the different background vocals and all the acrobatics and stuff like that you got to keep up with the times yeah 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 and i mean and i'm not saying don't go don't progress with the times and with the sound and what everybody loves but i'm saying like bring that bring that like that when you hear um the nice and slow album it's like yo i'm i'm listening to i'm listening to i'm listening to it yeah i mean when you listen to trey song's first album it's like okay yes sir i don't want to leave but I, know. I was like, okay. Come on. Yeah, you know I mean, you know I mean hey, when you shout out to Troy. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean, hey, yes, shout out to you. Yes, sir. Cause that was great. Um, like different things, like, but I love I love the cross blend. It's just yeah. for me, I, I cause I'm an R and B purist. I, I I would love to get one. Right. I would love to just give me one. Right. Give me one good one where I'm like, Ugh, this is give me all the feels. Bro, I and I really do hope and pray that we, if we can just get one from Usher, because I think Usher's about to give us an R&B album soon. So I'm excited. From your mouth. Chris Brown. Hey, come on now. Come on. I I really do hope Usher gives us a Give me one. Give me one solid one, bro. Give give me a, give me the, uh. What, what, uh, give me the, the nice and slow vibe mixed with a little Bro. um what's the the one he just dropped that had um oh uh, uh no limit uh, on it i forgot what the name of it was called um yeah i can't think of the uh, dang the i album, forgot the name bro. of the album he put out so much I, hard to dang love. what's the name of that album uh here i stand oh um no, Raven to Raven. how far I go. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. Hey, that's a good that's a good song for a yeah. wedding. <laughs> I see I see what you did. See what you came along. Sing, sing it. Sing, <laughs> See yeah. I said, oh, Usher. I said, sir, sir. He he slides one yeah, in in each fly. one, so that, that's good. Bro, and every album he slide one in there. He slide one in there. He slide one in there. And his vocals have gotten, bruh. Bad. Like I saw him at concert, I almost lost my mind. I was yeah, like, his vocals have improved. I like this dude sound just like the record. Hey, just like the record. You call good vocal good health. Vocal health. Yeah, yes, sir. Because he, he shared his tip, and I was like, bro, that looked gross with you drinking, but it worked. It works. 
It worked. It worked. So what's next for you, bro? Hey, man, what's next for me? I have a lot of gigs coming up, y'all. A lot of background vocals for certain artists that y'all might be Come on, with, so. come on. I'm uh, trying to get into that field. We got to talk. We got to talk. Hey, bro, like, when I tell you it's it's been a journey, but God is, like I said, man, God has been faithful, bro. He's been opening doors, yeah, and I'm going to make sure I kick every door down and keep opening up some more. Or Look, because it's, it's time, man. I, I, it's, it's time to make moves. I, I, I'm telling you, bro, I feel it. I feel it. And we this is our first time meeting and I'm like, yeah, it's something something about to happen for this man. Something about to happen for him. So you know, and I appreciate that. Hey, look, so the boy's about to go on tour. Come on, man. <laughs> the boy's about to be out here. So you know, you see the face. I want you to get used to the vocal. Go on his social media. Light that John up. You know what I mean, and just really, really hone in on uh on what he's doing because he's young he's gifted he's african-american amen praise god thank you jesus nothing on, nothing against nothing against other races but i'm black so i'm gonna support my Talk black brothers it. um and he's do, and he's doing thank something you, good thank he's doing you. something good y'all and and we love that here in studio 124 so uh any final any it. final you know tidbits and remarks before i give my my hey. little exclusive news that i'm about to drop so, I mean, all I can say is, man, first off, I, I need for everybody who's watching this, you know what I'm saying? Just keep God first. Y'all. Yeah, like, absolutely. You, if you keep him first, if you keep God first, he will literally, like, start orchestrating things that he already done orchestrating. Because I was going to before the time began. So, we ain't mm-hmm. do that. But he will literally start directing your path, man. He'll start opening doors that you thought were closed. He'll start closing some doors that you needed to get out of just so he can open the right door for you. Yeah. So keep him first, y'all. He will give you the desires of your heart. I promise you. If if you are yeah, making man. sure that you are doing what's right in his eyes and what's right for you and your folks, if you're doing right, I promise you, dog, everything will start flowing smoothly for you. I need for y'all to say humble but hungry because I got it still on my website. I got merchandise for you. And some new get merchandise the merch. with some new Come on, it's coming with some new music too, because new music dropped this year. And y'all ain't ready. Y'all Listen, ain't ready. I I, I, I don't want to be ready. Just drop it, man. Yes, <laughs> it. I, I've been hold I'ma tell you, I'm I'm mad at myself because I've been holding on to some of these songs since I was in yeah. college. I finally recorded them. So yeah. So it'd be like that, time, man. man. It'd be like that it's sometimes. Hey, it'd be hey, like y'all that. make sure y'all Still, hey, I need for y'all to support this man. That not me, but support this other brother right here because he's doing a good thing <laughs> by having all these people come up here and tell their story. Because he ain't got to do this; he ain't got to share his platform, but he's sharing it. Yeah, and so, bro, I thank you for having me up here, man. A little country boy from the two five. I thank you. <laughs> hey, man, um, it, it's a blessing, bro. This is why God gave bro. it to me. This is why He allowed yeah. me to do it. Like He spoke this over me in twenty twenty. And on, we now. got we got rocking in 2021, so you know we in 2022, hey. so we try to take it up. We try to take it up a little bit, see what hey, happens. It's going up. It's, it's going, going up. up. It's going up. So before we go, I said I got an announcement. I got a little announcement, right? So I'm gonna start putting out music, y'all. I'm gonna start Woo! putting out music. Um, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be some some covers, some unique covers at first, a couple Man. things. Um, and then some original stuff is going to come out later on. I'm praying, uh, that it does. And it's going to, and we're going to rock out, man. It's going to be, we're going to have some gospel. We're going to have some R and B. We're going to have it all. Cause I like it all. I like it all. You know, I like it all. That's so yeah. Dog, Cause I'm over here like this brother need to be singing. Stop. <laughs> we need some more. <laughs> yeah. I, I, he said, you're hiding behind your gift. Doc. We don't need to hide it no more. Nah, I'm just... out of hiding that safety. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's no I know man. some Pat Tribute. Yeah. Yeah. I love that song, bro. Dag, man, you're going to make me go listen to Ty. Jeez. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm a fan. Have me listen to Ty. Yeah. I'm a fan of him. I'm a fan of yours. I want to thank you like once again I'm for going. being a part. And, um, who knows? You might see us together again at some point. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, hey anything's look, possible. Ain't too hard to find. 
<laughs> anything's possible but uh just remember to support him like he said keep god's first keep god first and always remember as i always say be your best creative self be your best healthy self be your best saved and christian filled yeah. self yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah oh lord <laughs> do all those things and uh we'll see you on the next episode peace out